Hello there, everyone. It's Acer back again today. And another one of the most frequently asked questions that I receive over on my TikTok is, does Grogu die in the massacre at Luke's Jedi Temple? Now, there is no current canon answer for that, but this is going to be a theory video as to what I believe happens to Grogu after the events of Season 2 of The Mandalorian. So, if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. And again, before we begin, if you're interested in these videos, if you enjoy them, definitely leave a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, first I want to clear some things up, because a lot of people seem to be confused about the timeline. They want to know when exactly Luke found Grogu to begin his training, and whether or not that was before Luke started to train a young Ben Solo. So let me clear that up, because Grogu was in fact found before Ben had started his training. When Grogu was found by Luke Skywalker, Ben Solo would have only been around 3 to 4 years old. And typically, that answer is met with other questions, you know, didn't Luke say that Ben was his first student in Episode 8, The Last Jedi? Like, if Grogu was found before Ben started his training, wouldn't that contradict the films? And the answer to that is no, we do know that Ben Solo began his Jedi training at the age of 10 years old, as Luke's first student, but he was not Luke's first apprentice, and neither was Grogu. Luke's first Jedi apprentice was his sister, Leia. This information is revealed to us in Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, where we see the flashback sequence of Luke and Leia, but it's also revealed that Leia stopped her training before completion. But now that all of that information is cleared up, we know that Ben Solo did not begin his training until seven years after Luke finds Grogu, and I think it's safe to say that Luke's Jedi Temple Academy probably wasn't even built by then. Now this is where my theory comes in, because I firmly believe that within the seven years between the events where Luke finds Grogu and Ben begins his training, Grogu is going to intentionally make the decision to part ways with Luke Skywalker, to cut his training short, and reunite with Mando. And I have four main reasons why I believe this to be true, two of which are from a business perspective, and then the others are taken from two lines from Season 2 of The Mandalorian. First up, I think it's a no-brainer that Disney makes a crap ton of money off of merchandise for Grogu slash Baby Yoda the Child, whatever you want to call him. I mean, I personally have like 15 different Grogu things in my collection, and I just cannot see Disney killing off their biggest moneymaker. And next up, I really believe that Disney Lucasfilm is aware of the contention in the fan base right now. I happen to be a huge fan of the sequel trilogy despite some of their flaws, but you know, typically it's the fans that weren't really, uh, you know, keen with the sequel trilogy tend to be a little bit more vocal, a little bit more up in arms. And I think Disney Lucasfilm is aware of this. And the last thing they're trying to do is upset those fans. And you know, rule number one, how to not upset the fans. It's don't kill off the cutest little dude in a galaxy far, far away, especially in an event that already took place off screen. And I just really don't see them doing that. And lastly, I want to focus on what I feel is two really important lines in Season 2 of The Mandalorian, specifically with Episodes 5 and the finale. In Episode 5, we have Ahsoka refusing to train Grogu because of the attachment that he has with Din Djarin The Mandalorian, and she basically says that Grogu is going to have to be the one to choose his own course as to whether or not he would like to continue his Jedi training with a separate Jedi. And ultimately, they go to the planet Tython, they communicate, he, uh, you know, obviously connects with Luke, and Luke picks him up. But I feel like in the future, Grogu is going to realize that his path is not being a Jedi. I think he's going to go through a substantial amount of training with Luke, but ultimately, his future, his course, the path that he's going to be on is with Din Djarin. It's going to be with the Mandalorian, and I think he's going to part ways with Luke and reunite with the Mandalorian. But then there's also the line in the finale where after Din Djarin takes off his helmet and reveals his face to Grogu, in that really heartfelt moment, he goes, I'll see you again. I promise. And I really do think that that promise is going to be kept. I think he's going to search out Grogu just to check up on him, see how he's doing with his Jedi training. And I think Grogu, uh, you know, at some point along the course of his training is going to question whether or not that this is the path that he wants to be on. And when, uh, you know, Mando finds him again with, tr you know, training with Luke, I think Grogu is going to decide in that moment that he would rather go back with uh, Mando and just carry out, uh, you know, being the father and son duo in the, uh, the, the galaxy far, far away. I really do think that is what's going to happen. I do, however, think it'd be really cool if uh, Grogu stayed with Luke Skywalker, you know, training with him for a couple of years before he came up with this decision. Uh, I think it'd be cool if uh, Grogu was on a, a study abroad program, if you will, with Luke Skywalker before his, uh, you know, Jedi Academy was built. Uh, you know, maybe they were just uh, going on a couple of missions together with R2, searching out for some ancient Jedi artifacts like Luke was doing in the Battlefront 2 campaign. I think that'd be really cool. And that way Grogu still gets enough training to become a fully realized Force user without necessarily being a Jedi. He's going to choose a different path, one with the Mandalorian instead of Luke Skywalker, and I think that would just make a lot of sense as to why he wouldn't have been at the temple or the Academy when it was burnt down and Ben Solo fell to the dark side. Now, of course, this is just a theory, and anything is possible. Maybe Grogu does complete his Jedi training, and he's still, in fact, a Jedi at the time the Academy falls, but maybe Luke just assumes that he perishes with everyone else, even though he survives. Um, I really don't think that's likely, though, and I definitely don't think that Grogu is going to perish at the fall of the Academy. So that is why I believe that Grogu is going to leave on his own accord and reunite with the Mandalorian. Now, of course, that still leaves one major question. Where is Grogu at the time of the sequel trilogy and the Mandalorian, for that matter? Are they still alive? Are they still kicking? I have no idea, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I really don't think that Grogu is going to die at Luke's Academy. I think he's going to leave before the fall happens, before Ben falls to the dark side. But again, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos, and uh, definitely, if you like this one, leave a like, drop a comment, or subscribe if you're new here. I greatly appreciate it. May the Force be with you guys, always.